את מקיני טיווי. It's my show. What's up everyone? Mankini here with Mankini TV and I'm here with Richmond's own Vilified. What's going on? How's it going? Uh, I'm doing great. I just watched you guys open up this uh, tour package with Victims, Fox Lake and Within Destruction. That's right. It's my first time seeing you guys and I heard you said you've played for Victims the most. Yeah, this is our fourth time playing with Victims. Nice, nice. Thanks. I actually, I, I, I deeply enjoy Victims, and I, I love what they're doing for the scene. Um, they happen to just be crushing it big time. So that's really cool that you happen to just open for them and play with them all the time they're in town. I like that. Absolutely. Anytime we can. So tell me immediately, right now, let's get into it. Vilified. What's the band's name? What's it mean? Vilified? Uh, to be honest, I was just an angsty teenager in high school, and I thought it was pretty cool. So. Aren't we all? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at the time, I thought I was the only one, so you know you know how it is. So, I, I, I gotta know, I ask everybody, I talk about it, Glizzies, who's eating the most in this band? <laughs> why did your face go so shocked? I don't know. Why did you, why, wait, 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 why did you get so shocked? Bro. It could be, it could be why, anybody. It could be you anybody. seem so... Because they both looked at me immediately. <laughs> to be honest, I was not looking at you. I was looking at John. I asked that question. You went. No, because they both looked at me. <laughs> he's, he's just he's on one tonight. H how many glizzies have you seen him eat? To be honest, none. I've seen, I've seen that man over there, John. I've seen him eat at least four at a time. Well, oh, you, you let me know when you want to challenge me. I've eaten 36 glizzies in one sitting. <laughs> it's your you're not a... Are you okay? No. No? No. no. Oh. Let me tell you, after the 36th Glizzy, you hit a wall. And that wall yeah, the is the wall. last thing you see before you die. Hell yeah. I don't know if I want the last thing I see before I die <laughs> to be a Glizzy wall. <laughs> that doesn't sound too appealing to me. But it, I'm sure John will take you on anytime. Listen, sometimes, really sometimes you got to do you wanna, what you, you don't want to do. I can't challenge you to a glizzy off. Yeah, you can. Why not? I Damn can it. get like I could get two probably tops. Dude, one time, one time, one time, I saw him eat sixty-nine glizzies. I don't believe that. Were you they from Seven Eleven? You, you were just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> glizzy after glizzy, no cap. Just, just for clarity's sake, uh, John will take you on in anything. He's just the type of guy to challenge you to challenge you. We are a man who likes hot dogs. You don't back down from anything. Exactly. So let me ask you. Right now, we've got Within Destruction playing behind us. When this interview releases, they're going to be like, what's happening back there? Some crazy-ass shit. What crazy-ass shit do you guys have cooked up for 2023? Uh, uh, new music, uh, new tours maybe, maybe new music videos. I don't know. We're just, we're just vibing. I don't know what you just said, so I'm just gonna, I guess, start from the beginning. I get, we're just gonna take a break and write music. This is what happens write, when I write. don't, when I don't invest in lapel mics and and ear, you know, pieces. Yeah. <laughs> what we have? What? What are we doing this year? We're gonna write music. <laughs> yeah. And how many glizzies are you eating? Intentionally, because we. Wait, did are this. you a vegetarian? No. Okay. I sort of <laughs> Intentionally, because we did this, we're gonna eat more glizzies. So. That's at least one thing that's come from this interview. Be, being from Richmond, you guys understand what nobody else outside of this area understands. The DMV. Hell yeah! Absolutely. <laughs> this man lives on 95. <laughs> Hold on. No, sir. No. <laughs> being from Richmond, moving up to Washington, D.C., the general area, has been the worst decision. Uh, drivers, horrible. Like, you think Richmond is bad? I don't know how familiar you are with Richmond drivers. It's not good. It's I live real close to here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you know. Maryland. You know. No, actually, Maryland, respect to your, your uh, state, <laughs> is not that bad. Go into, like, D.C., Alexandria, Arlington. You're going 25 we, miles we per hour. You cash burn? Yes. You cash burn? Yes. I, know, I know what happens down there with the Amazon... Uh, uh, servers that yes. run all the internet for all. Hell yeah. 
Yes. It is. It is. I'm gripping this thing really hard. I'm sorry. I don't understand how this whole thing works, and I get it. I get it. So, so let me ask you guys. How long of a drive? Three, four hours to get up here? Three hours. Uh, yeah, for them, they have to drive the longest. It's about three hours. You guys, no matter what, will make this drive to make it happen for this band. You know it. Would you guys drive to Ohio for the gathering of the Juggalos? For the what? I, the gathering of the Juggalos. He, he's not hip, I don't think, so he might not know what we're talking about, but yes, we would absolutely. <laughs> he's too young for that. Any day of the week, whoop, whoop, motherfucker. Whoop, whoop. You heard it here first. You don't know Juggalos? Me? No, you. Hell yeah. <laughs> JK, I'm, I was kidding. Do you know what a juggalo is? Yeah, it's like the, um, the Insane Clown Posse fans. Is that not right? Oh, that. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what is that? Is that a bad thing? Is that not bad? Oh, okay. Canceled. <laughs> I apologize for my ban. This there. might hands down be the most hilarious interview ever. I hope so. I hope we can bring something to this interview for you. Because to be honest, I, I hope people know who we are that watch this. If not, you should check out Vilify. Well, at this point, they may have no choice because they're going to want to see the music that accompanies whatever just happened here tonight. Yeah, I mean, we got challenged to a glizzy off. We're talking about playing the Gathering of the Juggalos now. I mean, if you're listening, like, we're open. Hit our DMs, so. I want to see you guys perform with my favorite hardcore bands. Guerrilla Warfare, Downswing, Degrader, so, Kanashi. So, fun fact, I saw Guerrilla Warfare for the first time on Valentine's Day. Oh, at Baltimore South Stage. At, in Richmond, actually. Oh, you're right. I'm, I'm bad at dates. My bad. All good. <laughs> We're not from here, so that's my bad. I'm pretty sure all those... Did you tell them about the explicit content thing already? I'm pretty sure all of those bands that you just mentioned are playing uh, explicit content fest. Yeah. That's is that here? Wait, you guys are playing no? explicit content. No, huh? Should be. You guys are playing explicit content. We're not. However, we have asked and we have not heard back. So if you're watching this explicit content, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do in an interview. <clears throat> Orlando, they want to play explicit content in Baltimore. Orlando, why don't we just get them on that? Let's just do Bill. it. There we go. I've talked to. 10 out of the 20 bands there. Let's bring them on. Let's do it. That's actually, you know, pretty pretty interesting you bring up explicit content. It seems like a giant local show. You got two major headliners in Kanashi and Left to Suffer. So, why not? And now Downswing are going on the whole explicit content tour. Right. If it doesn't happen, why don't we get the Vilified Fest or the Villa Fest? You know, that's a great question, and I think that's a question that should be answered this year, so we might have a little more work to do. What do you think? About what? I si Why not have Villa Fest if we can't have you guys at explicit content? Yeah. Start your own festival. Actually, actually we're going to have Limp Bizkit headline, Spirit Box will be co-headliner, Villa Fight will be direct, direct support, and then the Wiggles will be the opener, and... Yeah, that, that'll be it. It's just four bands, experience. And then it'll be vilified, opening up every show and closing every show because they said, fuck it, we're the four bands on the show. Exactly. We're the whole set, like John said. There we go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> why, would, why would I even be mad? Why not? Right. Hey, can one of your sets be a Lip Biscuit cover band, though? I'm down. I don't, I don't know that Elijah even knows what a Lip Biscuit is. I Wait. know what a fucking Lip Biscuit is. Do you know the band Lip Biscuit? Yes. Do you know what uh, chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water is? Wait, wait, you guys make you guys make fun. Of, how old are you? They're young. They're they were all born after the year 2000, except for me and him. What? Yeah, I'm not even the youngest. I'm the oldest. Yeah, he is, but not by much. <laughs> you look the youngest. Though. Out of curiosity, if I say new metal, what does that mean then? New metal. New metal. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Lip Biscuit. Oh, it's like like corn, Slipknot, like old new metal. 
He said he said new metal band, so that's okay. All right, fair enough. You guys aren't that young then. I'm old. I'm older. <laughs> You're an old soul. <laughs> that's like an early 2000s thing, right? I mean, that's that's when we came up. <laughs> that's how we got into this kind of music, you know what I mean? Three years old. Shut the fuck up. First of all, <laughs> for your information, I was two. <laughs> you were two in 2002? Yeah. Well, one month. <laughs> I, I, I was I was born November of 2000, so for most of 2002, I was one. <laughs> and John was born very close to Hurricane Katrina, so he doesn't even remember that. Can you believe that? It makes it makes me have. It doesn't exist in your mind. Right, like it happened, but he just doesn't remember. Hurricane Katrina. 9/11. <laughs> he. <laughs> Nine. Uh... Thankfully, I missed that one. I said that, and the look on your face, like, bro. They, they do that all the time to me. Every time, 9/11. Fuck y'all. Gotta remind them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, shit's crazy here. Shit's wild. I told you earlier. I told you earlier. I hadn't had a chance to talk to any of you guys. Your local scene is important. Your local scene is important. That's right. Your local scene is important. That's right. People will never understand fully what it means to support local artists. I'm from Maryland. I live very close to Virginia and DC. I live very close to people who perform probably 30 minutes from my home who live four hours from me. Support local music. Support local music. Stop paying money to Live Nation and Ticketmaster and support your local bands. Local music is important and it keeps your scene alive. Bands like Vilified will continue to keep your venues open and keep people coming. You stop supporting local music and you kill your scene. So I say this with a humble heart and love in my face. Support Vilified and support your local scene as well. Show love where love belongs. Local music, let it rise up and bubble and take over the world. Facts. On God. On Jod. He's only 20. <laughs> Barely. Barely. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mankini. This is Mankini TV. This is Vilified. I've said it 13 times, support your local scene, and if you don't, Vilified from Richmond, Virginia will come to your house and ensure that you support whatever local scene you have going on. That's, yeah. that's correct. Consensually. <laughs> Consensually, because obviously we, we don't cross lines here. Very true. We love you.